Alrighty, chat. So I was uh, I was on YouTube at work today, and I found this in my recommendation box, and I actually really want to watch it. Um, I have 13 tattoos, and actually I have 15 tattoos now, and this popped up, and I kind of want to see like how accurate it is. So this is from Inked. It's everything you need to know before your first tattoo. Here we go. I'm very excited for this. All right, let's go. Trust me. Don't move. <laughs> I have belts in the back. Huh? Sometimes hey, yo. Listen. Hold up. You have what in the back? You got what in the back now? I got nervous before uh, my hand tattoo. I thought that was going to change everything. And uh, I, I went to go get my hand done. I remember talking to my buddy. Was... Fun fact, hand tattoos are called job killers, according to my tattoo artist. I was like... Dude, I'm kind of nervous. He's like, about what? I was going to get a hand I mean, tattoo with my anime sleeve. I don't like the design. And he was like, have you ever seen her do something that you haven't liked? And I was like, mm -hmm. no. Right. Mm -hmm. So thanks, Kelly Doty. That's actually valid. I have that anxiety before every tattoo. And my friends always say, well, how often has your tattoo artist screwed up? And I was like, well, never. And he's there like, exactly. So it's going to turn out great. Yeah. That's actually a very valid concern. I think sometimes people go wrong with uh, size. Sometimes yes. people want to start super yes. small just because they want I agree. to see how it feels. And then some people... I agree. Like, I, that's kind of what I did with, I with these I two. I should have went big. Uh, I don't think... If you're going to go small, that's fine. But pick an area that is suitable for that size. Tattoo. Yes. So I agree. don't stick I agree. You know, something that's two and a half inches in the middle of your bicep. And then you can't do anything around it except for I other small I agree. Tattoos. I agree so <laughs> much, actually. I always like inner forearm i think that's a great area to start your first tattoo it does hurt towards the wrist but you know. hold, on, hold on hold on hold on look 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 inner forearm inner forearm look at that chat would you believe that i actually fell asleep during during this one i can't really show the camera like during my piece of positivity i actually fell asleep during it Will you believe that i feel like you would believe that <laughs> now it's a little bit of pain and then it's over if it's the wrist isn't that bad the wrist really isn't that bad Good place to start you can see it if you want um, sometimes that helps to watch the artist doing the tattoo because then you realize hey it's you know it's not that bad it kind of just looks like they're drawing on me um, and True. if you don't want to look that's fine too sometimes that helps people but that's a I like looking but also like if it's a long session I, I don't look that to start only because like when I start sleeves I like to start at the bottom of the arm so that any image Interesting. That I add to it can go kind of stacked behind instead of like if I start up here I can't put this image like kind of like if a head were Wait, that's very interesting cuz I started my sleeve at my shoulder. That was my call though. I did I did Itachi first and then Kilo was an Etsu and then worked my way up. Holy shit, wait, I did it backwards. I did Itachi and then Kilo was an Etsu, Levi, Payne, and then Mikey. That's crazy. Where to go? I swear I won't pause that much. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If I'm sorry. end ahead here, I can keep stacking up the arm. Yeah. Hmm. I do not like it if you get your hands tattooed before getting a full sleeve. I said this. Um, or I said your this. Neck before you have full sleeves because. First, it looks a little strange because yep. you're going to be drawn to that area, and then this is going to look so empty. Traditionally, those are the ending areas. You know, you got to fill the rest of your body, and then you're allowed to get your hands and your neck done. Partially because they used to part be of that, career killers. Part of that's so cap. A lot of times you can't get work if you have yeah. highly visible neck and yep. hands. I can't. I know I can't. But Make sure that they're expanding. Yeah, his, his right hands. sleeve... This sleeve know. right I mean, here, like she said, traditionally needs some you work. want to cover everything before wow. you get into that. It's but very faded. Good. Like if they come with the intention, this is going to be a whole sleeve, and yeah. I'm going to get it done immediately. You know, following. That's our exception. Yeah, that's cohesive. That you know. It's fair. That's good. All right, do prepare for the worst. I agree. I, I, I like always prepare for the worst. Expect the worst, just because when they're in the not not the worst worst. Like I'm just saying, like expect it to be more painful than I hope it will be for you. I'll just say, if we're talking about pain, I expect the worst. If I'm talking about quality, I expect the best top tier work that will come out of it. Uh, if it's if we're talking pain, then I agree. I will expect the worst. But if we're talking like quality, I need the best possible quality ever. For you eat a large breakfast or yep. lunch or whatever absolutely um, from the appointment though yeah like not don't immediately. come in while you're digesting yeah oh you know, i ate it immediately i so i ate it immediately whoops bring even if it's just a mental thing to do something before a tattoo that kind of tends to help like for me 
Um, I'm a gum chewer. This weird ritual where, like she said with sugar, I love to have a Kit Kat and a Red Bull before every single tattoo I get. I don't know why. But you don't want the caffeine. It's not. Don't don't drink a bunch of caffeine before a tattoo. No, it's so bad. First of all, don't come in shaking. But it's your blood. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah. So, so um, don't do that. But like I said, if you find a ritual that kind of worked for you one time, do it every time because even if it's a mental thing that helps you sit longer. That is true. Awesome. Usually you blow it up. I watch soccer. Be much yeah. worse than it is. Let the pain win. Ooh. You have been imagining this. I'm not gonna lie. You know, I let it win once for the longest time, and that's where you're in love with it. Get it there. Who cares about the pain because it's gonna be over soon. You know, oh, you okay, never mind. For that day. I but I had a I had to end a session one time. For that day. Um, you know, you want to do it, you want to do it. And I look at my friend Will, and he was like, "Dude, it's gonna be on you forever." Like, because yeah. I, I was debating on my shoulder. I was like, "Should I switch nah. to my shoulder or something?" Shoulders suck. He goes, "What if you start on your shoulder and you're like, shit, I could have gotten this on my ribs." I said, "Dude, you're so right." So I got it on my ribs, and that was that. That's a good story. It is like deep cast scratch. Be honest about what you yeah, want. Yes, yes. Never let your artist talk you out of what you want. I love my artist because he works with me so well and he'll like say, okay, well this maybe might not be good for this location, but what if we did this and he'll work with me. And if I just say like a hard no, he'll be like, okay, that's fine. I'll do it anyway. I'm just trying to help you out. Like, and him and I have, he's out of the 15 tattoos I have, he's done 13 of them. So like him and I have a good understanding, but yes, I thoroughly agree with this because I have a couple friends that got tattoos who got talked out of what they wanted or like the location where they wanted and they actually like fucking hate their tattoos now. Um, you've researched an artist already and you like their work. Maybe find a bunch of pictures that um, are specific things they did that you did like because it helps us get in your head more. Right. So, I mean, like, you know, we were saying about like uh, changing things. I, both of us, we're usually one client for the whole day. So that means I reserve mm -hmm. the day for you. So if there's things that you're worried mm -hmm. about or concerned about, we're gonna work on them then and there. Right? Yeah, tell us. That's the other thing. If you go to a tattoo artist who does like 12 clients a day, do not go there. Plus Everything's not, through email, but right. it doesn't mean that in person we can't like work with you or any concerns or fears yeah. that they can't be resolved. Don't I agree. Don't be worried about offending the artist either. Unless you That's me. I do that. Say, like, I do that I so much. Hate this, it's garbage. I get so, so like, nervous I'm gonna offend Jay. If you are like, oh, you know what? I don't like this little leaf over here. Can we turn it or take it out? That's okay. Yeah. When you get there, any artist that is respectable, if you want to change something minor about the design, they have no problem changing it. That's how I work with my clients. I know you do the same thing. You're there to work with the artist. If you decide to change your entire concept, that's, that's a whole a different, different story, story where you'll have to rebook the right. or something. Right, but right, right. You should just go to an appointment by yourself so that you don't have the influence of other people who may not even be interested in the same. See, I kind of disagree with this. Because especially if you're going for your first tattoo, you kind of want, you kind of want like emotional support, right? I went with my parents and my best friend um, for my first one. I mean, I was 18, so I, I wasn't like, like I, I just turned 18 when I went. So you know what I mean? It wasn't like I was 18 for like a year, but no, like I just turned 18 and they just came with me just to hang out and have fun and, you know, talk to me while I was getting a tattoo. Um, I agree with like someone not bringing someone that influences but i always like having someone there with me style tattoo that you're looking to get right. so at least when opinion, i first started getting tatted really, yeah it doesn't make a difference who cares if they like it or not um and that time is supposed to be for you and the artist to communicate about this piece of work that you guys are creating so yeah, yeah. Don't, don't bring a whole bunch of friends it's okay if you want you know maybe one friend just to hold your hand but don't there let you go. their there you opinion go. weigh on your decision of what you're going to get i agree tattoo. Dude, that was actually a fire video. I was like thinking that I was gonna like roast the shit out of this, but this is actually like a really, really, really good video. I just saw a comment, it was like, biggest do is save up and find the right artist for the job. I completely agree with this because so many times, like when I post my tattoos, like on TikTok and stuff like that, they're like, oh, you paid $400 for that. You can find someone that does $100 for that same tattoo. Absolutely freaking not. I'm paying for the quality. I'm not paying for some tattoo that'll fade away. Like. What, this tattoo, these two tattoos right here, these are like five years old and look how bright they are still. Like, I mean, it, my, the, the light in the back is like kind of screwed up. I think it just screwed up even more. But like, if you saw it in person, it looks so bright. Same with, same with like my sleeves. Like, these are a year old now and look how bright they still are. Like, I don't know. I love my artists. 
If you're gonna get a tattoo, I definitely think you should take this advice and you should take some of my advice as well. I'm not an expert, obviously, but I feel like since I'm getting, uh, since my sleeve is almost done and I have like 15 tattoos, I think I know what I'm talking about a little bit. But yeah, that, that was a great video, actually. <laughs> That's actually a really great video. Don't drink Red Bull. Do not drink Red Bull before your appointment. Do not.